and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I am a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, I'm really excited now that we've been going back into some of the classics that started metal and basically made metal what it is now. We've been getting a lot of requests for Black Sabbath, and I am aware that Ozzy Osbourne is in this band. Everybody knows of Ozzy. He's kind of iconic, but... Honestly, the only song I know of Ozzy is Crazy Train, and that's because of Guitar Hero, and honestly, every person alive has probably heard Crazy Train, or at least the riff, at least once in their life. But I'm really excited to dive into Black Sabbath. I know they are very iconic. They are a household name, and this is the music that my dad grew up on, so I'm coming full circle and starting to listen to it as well. And it feels kind of cool to discover all of these incredible bands, these legends, these hall of famers that basically set the standard for whatever music is now and i'm just so happy that we get to do this together um but before i get started if you do enjoy what you see here please consider leaving a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell as it helps me out greatly and i would definitely appreciate that um but other than that let's get started with black sabbath's war pigs we got another one out called war pigs it's a number of our new old pig hope you like it thank you Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I uh, really, really, I, I know that Ozzy is legendary. Everybody knows him, whether it's because of his music or because of, you know, his mannerisms. He's become a household name. Everyone is aware of who he is. Uh, I, I've always thought his voice was great. I've only gotten crazy trained to base that off. Um, but I've heard that song so many times over and over and over. Played it so many times in Guitar Hero. I heard it, you know, on the radio or out and about it's usually like on the movie soundtrack so that song is really iconic and whenever i hear it i knew he has an incredible voice and it's interesting to see this kind of side of him uh, i i don't know if crazy train is like his solo work um i'm a little confused on the timeline of when he was in black sabbath if he did leave or when they you know uh went separate ways i'm not really sure on all of the details but i'm gonna look more into it um and if you can help me out i would greatly appreciate that as well but his voice is so damn good. I think he has, you know, such an incredible tone and you can always just tell, okay, yeah, that's Ozzy. I've heard Crazy Train once and I'm already like, okay, yeah, that's definitely Ozzy Osbourne. Um, incredible. I am honestly so excited to dive further into Black Sabbath because this means more of discovering, you know, the legends, the legends of rock, um, the legends that everyone is really, really familiar with. And now it's my turn to, you know, fully immerse myself into the genre and get myself, get myself educated on some metal because I listen to um newer metal but this is these are the founding fathers of metal and they need some damn appreciation so it's about time i did my homework and started diving into these groups but wow i'm already i'm already such a fan my face already hurts from smiling i'm just so excited for you know what else is to come but yeah i'm 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 just gonna enjoy the ride but yeah let's continue <laughs> Wait a 
so damn much. Woo! Nice double base pedal. see on stage seeing him perform i've honestly never seen him uh, perform live any videos um every time i've heard crazy train it was always you know just the audio of it uh, or like somewhere in the background but i've never seen his stage presence um very interesting because i've seen what he looks like now and i could never imagine him you know being this chaotic on stage is honestly kind of cool uh, it makes me love him even more um but i do believe I, I did, you know, hear some things in recent years that he's had issues with his voice. Um, so I'm not sure if he like, you know, maybe that's why he's not, you know, making music anymore or if he is making music still. I'm not uh, aware of those details as well. I would definitely love to know um, because I feel I, I want to know his technique. I want to know what he did because his voice sounds very interesting. Um, I know they are uh, an English band, I believe, and I, I can kind of like hear a little bit of the accent in his voice as well but i i really really love his voice and i'm kind of sad if he has had issues with it maybe he strained his vocals um because i know he kind of has a little bit of i hear a little bit of distortion in there as well but i'm really really curious on that now i want to you know look up on his history with his voice and and read up on all of those details as well but the stage presence there's no denying that he has some pretty killer moves on the stage you can tell he's having fun he's almost uh, as excited as probably all the people watching him it seems like he's almost as excited to perform his own music, which is so great. I love to see that, but yeah, let's continue. On the scene of Beast of Getting a build up. Sends out your fire. Cast the priest into the fire. Praise for all bad sinners. What's the eating dead rats in the So damn good. Oh, look, dude, it's everything so 
Okay, I, I felt like there was that was uh, that felt like really like one big long solo drums killing it uh, bass killing it guitars killing it and I felt like I was gonna it was gonna be utterly disrespectful for me to pause but I do gotta do my momentary pauses so I can appease the copyright gods but I I felt like that was just disrespectful for me to just you know interrupt them they were doing their thing they were shredding they were killing it absolute you know uh, just incredible um making the most beautiful sounds ever and then look like ozzy was having an exorcism on stage which i absolutely adore um i know his personality i have seen he was like in a really a reality show which yeah i know it was on mtv a, a long time ago um i did see clips of it when i was growing up so i did you know know his personality he's kind of known for being kind of uh, uh kooky and kind of like uh a little bit a little bit crazy but in a good way the good kind of crazy um so i love seeing that on stage i've never seen him in his element just like in reality or you know little interviews or just you know little cameos here and there but i'm loving him in his element it's he's shining he's thriving and i love that so much and then everyone else it just seems like we're in their garage like we're just in their garage right now just a couple of you know and you know just a bunch of friends just like jamming out and shredding and making incredible music together like this just feels like we're just enjoying that that like guitar jam session that's what it feels like um but wow this is so good i'm loving i'm loving that everyone kind of gets their moments to shine um that bass there for a moment was just you know music to my ears everything was just all together coming together and making just this beautiful masterpiece um but yeah i am uh i am really really digging black sabbath right now i'm so excited i got a lot to catch up on but i am so damn excited for this journey with you guys but yeah let's continue with this one <laughs> Oh, he's, he's going down. Thank you very much. Oh, that was it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. I am so in love with every single person in this band. I cannot wait to know more about them because I, I think for my first experience with Black Sabbath, I am already all in and I am ready for this experience with you guys. I am just so incredibly impressed. I am so glad this is my first experience with Black Sabbath. I know we're all familiar with Ozzy. Uh, but seeing him here in his element was just so different. I've been familiar with the Aussie that we all know now. The one with the glasses, the one that's kind of, you know, uh, crazy and kooky and, and always like being a little bit fun and comedic. But, you know, seeing him here at such a young age, he's so small. They're all so small. It's uh, so cool to see how it all started. Um, but it's so interesting. All those people in that audience were probably not even aware that metal was being, you know, made metal was being started and i just think that's so incredible because i hear the influence and in newer music and it's so cool that all of these you know founding fathers like black sabbath metallica iron Man, uh, maiden they're all the ones who are responsible for the music that we have now uh they really really inspired so many people to even pick up guitaring uh pick up bass uh pick up drumming you know all these people probably looked up to them in their youth and now you know metal is what it is now because of them and we have them to thank for that but I am just so incredibly impressed. Those solos were insane. Bass was just on the money. But my favorite part, I gotta say, I really, really appreciated the drums in this. I feel like the drummer was beating those drums like they owed him money. Like you could just tell so much intention in that drumming, so much power, so much precision. And I thought that was absolutely phenomenal. Altogether, they made an incredible song. I do believe this is an anti war song. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is in the 70s. So. Not sure if this is centered around Vietnam. I, I do want to know a little bit more of the details. I didn't try to look too much information on. I didn't want to uh, spoil the song for me, but if I'm kind of close, please let me know. I want to know what the song is, uh, you know, actually about. But to me, it basically felt like an anti-war song. Um, but a lot of songs in that time period were also based on war as well. But I am excited. Very, very excited for more Black Sabbath because if it's anything like this, I'm already knowing I'm going to have a wonderful time because... I mean, it's about time I pay tribute to these damn legends. These are the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, and I got to give them, you know, their dues because they are just so damn incredibly talented, and metal wouldn't be the same without them. Um, but thank you so much for this recommendation. I am so, so very excited. Let me know which other Black Sabbath song you want me to react to next in the comments. I am going to be adding them all to my list. 
and adding them onto my rotations weekly. Um, so thank you so much for that. Um, but other than that, if you would like to hang out with me, I do live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And as well, I do pump out reactions every day. So if you enjoy what you saw here, please be sure to give this one a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again. With that being said, I'll be back tomorrow with some more music. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And until next time, we'll see you very soon. Bye!